Yo. Ha ha. Bill Nicholson. I only skipped this release for one reason and one reason only, but let me explain. What is good, YouTube? Your boy, Bill Nificent, coming back with another quick video. And today, the AE1 Mid, is what they call the light purple, drops on the Adidas app in select retail stores. Now, I feel like this colorway, I'm not sure if, if Anthony Edwards wore this. And if he did, it was probably just for, like, practice or something like that. I've never seen an in-game worn shoe. But, of course, the 2025 NBA season is pretty much among us, and we've got preseason going on. So, I expect colorways that he hasn't worn at least anthony edwards has not worn last season will be this season so the stuff that we've been seeing and i feel like this one is probably going to be something we're going to see on court now for me let me explain why i do like the shoe it's dope but because i picked up the all-star which also has kind of like that purplish tone not like this because I think this is a light purple. That is the only reason why I skipped it. But this one is the one I liked a lot. Uh, you can see I actually did find the laces to match um, pretty much the back. So, you know, I had to, had to do that. But long story short, since I got the All-Star, I did not get the uh, light purple. But I do believe that this shoe is going to be another shoe that's maybe it's going to be attractive for, um, you know, kids all alike. Females, males, boys, girls, doesn't matter because... It's a shoe that, in my opinion, is one of those standout shoes. <clears throat> you know, the colorways that he comes out, they pop. It's stuff that people like to see. It's not the same colorways that we've seen in certain shoes traditionally over and over and over again. At least they're, they're really, I want to say, going in their bag and kind of coming out with um, shoe colorways that, you know, may appeal to the, the public eye over time. And also, just keep in mind that I am well aware that there is so many different AE1, at least Anthony Edwards ones, shoes that should be coming out momentarily and even headed into next year. So there was like a Iron Sharpen Low AE1 or Anthony Edwards one low called Iron Sharpen that's supposed to be released in this year. Um, and if you were watching Media Day on, you know, basically around the NBA, Anthony Edwards was wearing the metallic silver. And in fact, I think he wore it in his press conference and kind of like just put his foot on the table and said like, this is it. Right. And, and actually when you look at the shoe, it looks nice. I mean, it looks nice. And then of course there's supposed to be a bowling series around maybe the end of the year where there's a low, um, and a colorway is supposed to be a bowling orange, possibly a bowling yellow and a bowling blue. But the difference with this low series is instead of us just getting the typical Anthony Edwards one low or mid that again, with that generative supportive uh, wing on both sides where that typically has the color and then they give you that black textile upper with the low series, you're actually getting like a color match. So that'll be interesting to uh, watch. And of course, if you head into next year, there's a future future or future, I can't remember what the, the, the mixed series was. There's a couple of mixed series Anthony Edwards ones that should be coming out. And if that's the case, it'll be first mixed colorway that we see in the Anthony Edwards series, both in the mid and the low. So it's going to be interesting at the end of this year and the next year, I can ultimately guarantee you, you will see a lot more colorways in the coming future. But comment below, let me know, did you pick up the Anthony Edwards one mid purple low? Um, again, dope shoe, but because I already have the all-stars, for me, it was an easy pass until the next one, but I am definitely not done with this series. I plan on collecting every colorway that I do not have, so I have a rotation and I can wear whatever I want, whenever I want. But your boy, Mel Man, today is Saturday. You guys, stay blessed.